Hey folks, check out these cool plants I found while walking through the Elahi Reserve. Spring is in full swing here in the Pacific Northwest. This beautiful set of pink flowers clustered right here in my hand is actually a native plant. This is right here is a red currant. Perfect for dipping on the path or making jellies. This right here is one of my favorite flowers. It's actually a member of the rose family. It's also closely related to raspberries and blackberries we all know from farmer stands and supermarkets. It gets its name salmonberry from the fact that it looks like a cluster of salmon eggs. It ranges color from orange to deep red and everything modeled in between. And here we have a small cluster of the Olympic pearl oyster. It's a smaller subspecies of the known pearl oyster. The caps are a little bit smaller but all the flavors there and a beautiful oval cross toast with a little bit of butter. This little unassuming guy likes to grow on a mat or climb onto any fence or anything around it at all. It grow over an inch a day and it's actually nutrient It's supposed to be able to help with hair loss and weight loss. I do not make these medical claims, but this is what the reports say. It's actually rather tasty when it harvested early enough and it's great creamed if it on the toast. We got a little bit of protein in it as well. And here we have another native to the Pacific Northwest area. You can find this found in all sorts of places, including as it in business parks. Under its bark has got a yellow component called berberine. This is a bitter tasting antioxidant that is known for its intoxifying qualities and it produces tons of dark blue. Berries are perfect in jellies, although on their own they are super sour. And here, yet another native. This is red sumac. This is the hairless variety. It's usually found on roadsides or clearings. And they are pretty tasty in jellies and syrups, but meh on their own. They tend to taste kind of lemony and tart. You do not want to wash these or you lose your flavor. This right here is the red huckleberry. It's related to the blueberry. There's two varieties. There's one that's blue, which is in or east of the Cascade Mountains. Since we are west of that, all we have is the red. It is uh, easy to get many of these to actually make a pie or even jellies. But I prefer them in my pancakes like it's good enough Dutch. But hey, try them on your own in the walk down the path. They're easy to find. The first one's good to learn a bit. Here we have the turkey tail. It's a variety in color, but this is an older specimen, so it's starting to fade out in the sun exposure. It's a little too old for me to harvest, but these will make a dark tea. Reminiscent of coffee is actually a great moon booster. And it can be found all throughout the north. And our last one of the day here is the dewberry. It's a native blackberry species. But these really creep along the ground and don't really tend to do anything other than climb upon other plants, but they stay right around your ankle and, yeah, tend to trip you. But these little berries are great.